Hey people, this is Bugsy. I just wanted to say, I just wanted to start off by saying, you know, like I'm so tired of these like other YouTube channels saying like you YouTube you know, it's not it's not YouTube's fault that's screwing us over. It's the government the, the fact I'm like YouTube about YouTube has always screwed us over. I mean, I don't know what about these other channels that are like well, YouTube didn't score Trump, and that kind of help us creators. Bullshit, motherfucker. Channels like mine have always been buried because we ain't, because we ain't what YouTube wants. <laughs> kind of funny now. The tables have really fucking turned. And I gotta say, I love it. And also, my, uh, my strike will be removed tomorrow, so I'm kind of happy about that. I'm pretty much gonna still do what I've been doing Still, because, you know, I don't trust YouTube anymore. And I feel like you guys, you guys shouldn't either, to a point. Because YouTube is just not, YouTube is going to try, I really feel that YouTube at one point is going to try to phase us all out. And this whole you know, we can kick any YouTuber off that isn't commercially viable. I think that's the first start of it. You got, you know, you guys can say, oh, Bugsy, you're doing conspiracy theories and whatnot. I'm just saying, YouTube has always screwed us over, and probably for a lot of you, it, probably for a lot of you that can uh, smugly gloat and laugh at how many people are saying YouTube isn't for us creators anymore, y'all can just be like, <laughs> Look at this man who doesn't know what he's talking about. When well, y'all motherfuckers need to understand, y'all used to be little channels yourselves, okay? Don't fucking play and pretend that you were something more than what you were. But I'm like, I'm like, y'all, I'm trying to at least do some, I'm trying to at least make sure my website and everything else is to go if, like, anything happens to my YouTube presence here. Because at least I'm actually trying to do something rather than tell all these little YouTubers to be quiet and it's not YouTube's fault. Yes, it's always been YouTube's fault. They bury little channels like mine who have been here for years. We don't get nothing. I mean, we shouldn't get no special treatment, but we don't get nothing for being here for like this long, which I'm not expecting any kind of thing. But you think maybe. You know, maybe since, you know, my channel makes a lot of, like, has a lot of, has a lot of lifetime views, you think, you think I'd get something. Oh, that silver play button is like a, like a fucking, it's like a fucking delusion that I'm never, it's, it's like a, it's like a distant reality I'm never gonna get to. And I've accepted that. I've accepted it. But I still want to entertain. I still want to make fun. I want to still want to make fun videos. I still want to. I still want to do things like. Oh yeah, guys, check out my website with fuck because we got fucker in the gulag and we're gonna be doing that for a few days. It's actually pretty fucking funny and worst anime ever. If you don't believe me, you be if you don't want to believe me, believe Rob Cosby. Either way, guys, I fucking, I, I wanted to say I fucking love, um, I, I love doing stuff on my website, um, and stuff on Lair and other, and other, and other sites. My big shoot is connected to my YouTube, so any videos I make here is going straight to there, too. So even if YouTube does collapse and crumble, I have ways of still trying to, you know, make a living. And here Blair is gonna start monetizing soon, so I may I may be on the I may be on the bus for that when it comes. Personally, I'm still gonna make YouTube content here for as long as I can. Because you all still believe in me. God knows why. In this kind of climate where we got all these fucking 
Yo, we know the ins and outs of YouTube. Y'all need to calm down. Because we know, because we're like, we know everything. Yeah. But y'all motherfuckers don't. You know I you know I like Ian Cortison? Cord because he actually fucking is he actually found out something about the inner workings of YouTube while the rest of us were fucking running around with a chicken with a, with our heads cut off. Sure, you guys can were saying all this shit trying to quell quell our fears, but the fact that we had an actual lawyer actually explain and probably got that secret call from YouTube from a YouTube employee. That put us all at ease. And the proof that we got from that is that YouTube has been lying to us. They have been screwing us over all the time. But you all don't want to see it like that. And why would you? You see, you see us as the, as the complaining little guys. Sure. Sure. We, we all get Thanos snapped. No one's going to say a word. No one's gonna care too much. And y'all motherfuckers will probably still try to dip by or scrape by. For the little for the little channels, I care. Because I'm still a little guy. And even though I'm trying to do more big things. I know what that's like to be scared. I, you know, Sopa, Pippa, and Acta, even though I would put on a brave face, yeah, I was scared that one day. Because of one of the government's bullshit laws, we all our shit, all like anything video related would disappear. If it had, if their law had anything to do with, if their law had anything to do with the internet. Because you know why I hold on, you know why I want to hold on to this so dearly? Because we live, because we're in a time where anybody can make anything they want to entertain anybody. YouTube pushes out like a whole bunch of content a day. Some people are even some people are even ditching cable to watch us. Do you even know how that feels? You know how that makes me feel? It makes me feel happy. Cause I got a lot of people who watch my stuff too. YouTube is buried most of uh, anybody's comments, so some people do send me comments and I don't see them. I see like a notification and then boop, it's, I see their comment and then I try to see it on the video. Boop, it's blank. You know? But people are still trying to watch me. And, you know, and I've been advertising my videos all day, every day. It's a lot of work. But I still, I still try to keep at it because, legit, I want to still keep doing videos because this is like my job, my purpose. You know, because I love entertaining people. I even love being an amateur voice actor. I love it. I never want to stop. And, you know, you guys can be like, well, oh, but, well, nothing's going to really happen. Again, you don't know. YouTube can pull anything out of their asses to knock us all back. Because you know what they're doing? They're covering their ass. They're covering their asses. And they, wanna, they want us to comply because they got spanked. Because they got slapped down with a fine. They want us to comply because they think we're the problem. When it's their fault that they've been collecting data from kids to begin with, and it's not our fault. I mean, some of us YouTubers don't even appeal to kids. You think, I looked at mine, I looked at my analytics, and it, bas and it basically proved my point. That, that teens and young adults and shit. So, I was there for kids. And that makes me happy. Young adults, young adults, and, te and teens that are like, like eighteen and nineteen. <laughs> See, 
But that, see, that's my thing. Because I actually looked. And some people, and some of these guys are telling you not to look. I say don't post it public. Don't show it off publicly. You know? If, if like, your prediction of your own content is wrong. But I say you should look for yourself to at least put your mind at ease. Because it put my mind at ease. You're not naive just to check. It's perfectly natural that you would want to look and see what, see what's, who's actually watching your videos. No one's telling you you shouldn't. No one's telling you you shouldn't look. You should look. If it's naive, it's if it's naive to these motherfuckers that are telling you not to look. Well, fuck them. They don't know. They don't know what they're talking. They only know what they. They can't help you. Only you can help you. And all I'm all I'm saying is just look at your analytics. And trust me, if you really think you're not, if you really think you're not the kids, look at your analytics. And it will tell you what you need to know. Me, I'm just glad that I can do videos on the Big Three Box Network and people still watch me. At least, if no one watches me here, people are looking at my videos on BitChute. And that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. I know. I know. Like... I'm always coming off as the most angriest motherfucker in the world. And tr to be truthful, I can't be a very angry person. But I'll never give up on the YouTubers who want to have an audience. I'm never gonna give you fuck I'm never gonna give you motherfucking lip service like some of these other channels. Because you can do it. Even if the circumstances are stacked against you, you can do this. You can make a living off of this. You don't have to pander to people. You don't have to do this or that. You just gotta try, man. You know, pay for some editors. See if people wanna help you out. But you gotta pay them, though. Don't do that whole paying. Don't do that whole, I'm gonna pay you an exposure. Pay them. And don't be stingy about paying them. But if you can do the editing and stuff yourself, good. That's good. But like I say, never be afraid to ask for a little bit of help. Okay? Never be afraid for that. Never be afraid of that. Ever. <clears throat> And when dealing, uh, you know, and also when dealing with people in the comments that sometimes, well, like, say Sonic Equality. I'm using him as an example. Because people like him, you know, you just gotta set straight. You don't have to be overly harsh with them. You just gotta tell them what's up. If they get the hint, they're a fan, they're a fan and they'll if they get the hint, they'll understand and hopefully... Do better. If they don't, they'll probably bitch and moan at you in the comments. Again, getting death threats on YouTube is very fucking common. Be because it's always like these motherfuckers that are like, I'm gonna kill you if you, t if you tell me but Like, one freaking drug is like, I'm gonna kill you if you tell me I'm like, motherfucker, I don't care. <laughs> like, what if I just rolled to that dude's house and was like, if I just rolled up to that house, fucking, fucking, like a whole bunch of guns in hand, like I'm saying, like I'm, lo I'm loaded to the teeth, like I'm fucking spawn. I'm like, what you say, motherfucker? What you say? You said something on my video. You said you were gonna kill me. I'm sorry, man. I. Mm. What you say, motherfucker? You say it. Like, seriously, seriously, seriously. Seriously, these what I'm trying to really get at. These people can't do shit to you. Like if they if they start saying they know where you live, that's when you start getting worried. 
but if they don't, you're fine. Like, if they start, like, actually, like, trying to dox you, then be worried. But these, you know, some of these people, you know, these people are a dime a dozen. I say don't deal, I say don't be on YouTube. I say, you know, I'm giving you my own advice. Don't be on YouTube if you suffer the, if you suffer the following. If you have anxiety. Because trust me, YouTube will give you a bunch of anxiety and stress the likes of which you will never that will take a while for you to recover. There will always be there will always be some motherfucker who doesn't like your content. If you're that kind of person who really cares about what people think, YouTube is not for you. If you have something I like to call Gex Up Syndrome, you should definitely not be on YouTube. That's like it's a big no no for you to be on YouTube because if because you because if you're on the internet, you gotta be prepared to handle anything from anybody from any different angle. You know, I say find a style that works for you. Find a style that works for you. You know, do it and improve it. Find your own unique style that works for you. Don't try to copy anybody else. Just try to find something that works for you. Now, try some. I say to avoid burnout. Because YouTube's saying, you're like, you can avoid burnout. Let me tell you how to avoid burnout. Do videos that you like. Not what everybody else likes. You can do, you can throw, you can throw your, you can throw your subscribers a bone every now and again. But do the stuff you like. Because you did this, you did YouTube to entertain people. Not to just focus on one thing so they just be happy and you're just slowly wanting to stop doing what you're doing. Do videos that you like. Don't follow the crowd and do Fortnite video after Fortnite video. If you like Fortnite, go for it. But if you don't actually like it and you're just doing it for views, nah. Nah. Because remember, if you do videos that you like and then you'll find someone else that likes your videos, if it's well edited and put together, the people will come. The people will come. And another thing, another tip I'd say: advertise, advertise, advertise on any platform that you have, because that's really important. That is, that is like really, really important. Especially, especially if YouTube is like not really showing your video and a whole bunch of stuff. Just keep on advertising. You know, just it's and keeps you know, one of these days I think Jack Sub's gonna be like, Well you're this and that I'm gonna be like, boy, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started on you. I bet you he, I bet you he does know about me. I bet you I bet you five bucks Gexup does know about me. And he's like, Oh, I'm gonna get this look. I'm gonna get this fuck. Get come to his house on military side and, and do and do stuff to scare him. Yeah, you know, even even if that did happen, it will never change the fact that he just like that would never change the fact that Gexub did what he did. Like, because people actually saved that video. People use that video in their things, and no one's really gonna forgive. I mean, some people are gonna forgive Gexub, but I won't. I I won't. Because he wants to act like a little he wants to act like a little bitch and tell everybody to man up. I'm like I know I was giving YouTuber tips, but for a minute, let me just talk about Gexub for a minute. Because I was doing a video, I was gonna put it on the website, and I was like, mm, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. 
But personally, the way I feel about Gag Sub is this. People, never stop doing what you love. Just because a fucking idiot tells you. Just because he had a bad time on the internet. That don't mean you will. Because we all react to things in different ways. Something that, something that, lo- something that, something that, something that Mr. Gexup will never truly understand. I say keep doing you. Keep entertaining. Keep making people smile. And never stop. Yeah, you know, never stop being, never stop being that positive light that people need. You know. And I'm not trying to put pressure on you. You know. If you make a video that people like, you are being positive. You're giving them something to enjoy. That's not wrong. People like Gexub haven't manned up. And they never will. Because running isn't manning up. Running is, you know, running away from the internet and just cutting everybody away from you just because you had a bad time is not dealing with your problems. And I think Gexup probably did deal with his problems, and I hope he did. But the way he left the internet, no one's ever going to forget you know, he saying, you know, he said we waste our time thinking, talking about these objects. Well, we, well, we'll talk about these objects to the day we die. And if that's sad to you, well, I don't know why you care so much for a person that wanted to call everybody spiritually weak and everybody's not friends. YouTubers are not your friends. Well, we know that motherfucker. We're not like. It's not like I'm gonna get called by Mark. It's not like I get calls from Markiplier and PewDiePie every fucking, every day, like I actually do, (laughs) like if I actually do. But some people do wish that they could have some of their favorite YouTubers as their friends. You know, some people do wish that. I say, I say, it's possible, just don't force it, man. Don't be a creepy dude. Just, you know, if you see him at a con, just say, hey, how you doing? But don't be creepy about it. Don't be like, Markiplier, I got all your merch. <laughs> I need a lock in your hand. Don't be like that. I'm just saying... I'm saying maybe YouTubers can be your friends, but still, I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't say the feat's impossible. <sighs> you know, the one thing I literally think that Gexup is really just probably mad at is just just all these people, all these people asking to do this and that. It just he just never really just said, hey, I'm not going to do this and that anymore. You know, I'm going to focus on me. He could have just said that, but he just felt like he needed to lash out at everybody. I feel like, I feel like if I ever left YouTube, I mean, if I ever left the internet in its entirety, I'm fucking going to be like, it's been a fun ride, everybody. Thank you for always being around. Thank you for ma- thank you for making me have the best time of my life. I've done I've done things on here that I will never forget. As long as I live and have a heart, I tried. But like all good things, they must come to an end. I'll see you around, everybody. See, that's how I would that's how I would go out. Because at least I would let you guys I would let you guys go. I'm going to let you guys remember all the good shit that I've done, and I, I just go adios. <sighs> I'm just saying, there's like a million ways Gexo could have handled that situation, but he chose the, he chose the, mm, kind of way. Either way, guys, if I, if, if I've taught you anything from this video, 
What the fuck? If I taught you anything from this video, one, don't listen to, don't, don't freaking be taught down to by these YouTubers that are trying to say they're helping you and shit like that. Just, I just say do you. Look at your analytics to see what, to see what you need to see. Yeah, to really see if you're, if the did it shows that you're for kids because that's the thing they'll be looking at. And just, and just remember, it started YouTube. So you probably started YouTube for fame, and then it probably turned into like, hey, I actually like doing this. Have, remember, hold on to that feeling. Because seeing comment and seeing comments from people who don't want to see you dead, you say, hey, that was a good video, or hey, this is awesome, or hey, this is really funny. Those, those are what make YouTube and video platforms like it worthwhile. Those. Those things right there. I'll see you guys later. I'm Bugsy. I'm signing off. I'm working on more videos over on over on the uh, over on the Big Three Box Network site. So, hey, why don't you come on down? You'll probably have a good time. Or really get creeped out of Nightlife's first outing with the whole. Uh, well, you'll see it. But in my defense, I wanted to say I did that for fun. Straight up for fun. <sighs> but I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody, and don't be a gexa. Don't be a gexa. You, t the internet may be a. Maybe a place that spreads negativity all the, like every now and again, but it can also be a place of hope, joy, and laughter, depending on how you see it. Well, I'll see you guys later. Bugsy, truly, honest to God, out.